Hi, and welcome to Friday's channeling of Odyssey of Ascension. This is Roxy, and here we go. Thanks for tuning in. And welcome once again. This is Osipius from the Oversoul Collectifier. There's an idea that, let's say, is tickling Roxy at the edge of her acceptable reality, allowing it to come in to expand, asking for answers from herself, that of her father, that of her guides, an unknown, which is rejoiceful, reality to perceive. The idea of fire. Who is fire to her? The idea of you, you and your oversoul. Hmm? Who is that to you? Let's give you a paradox to dwell within. If you are I am, that does mean you are recognizing the personality complex that you are right now. When you look in the mirror and say I am, you know that you exist. This personality, this love, this self, it never diminishes, never goes away, never melds into, let's say, a whole bunch of other personalities. Hmm? You are an individual. You are the individual thought. So, Roxanne was questioning. I don't understand you, Osipius. You are a part of me, but yet I am not you. I am a part of fire, yet I am not fire. Who am I? Who is the I am that we've been telling you to claim? That the Bible writ wrote, rather, over and over again, to be the I am that you are. I am that I am. That I am, I am. Hmm? Intricate, most certainly. There's an idea of stepping stones here, there's an idea of all truths are in the now to hold on to and realize with comprehension of your mind, of your limitations, of your levels of expanding, redefining your reality will occur in all nows. If you allow it, don't hold on to the truth. Be the fleeting moment of now and expand into the idea of what you truly are. How grand you are. <clears throat> how many personalities you truly are. Hmm? As Seth has spoken about, you are a multitude of personalities within one. You can choose to be any of them. You have chosen to be every and all of them, all the time and no time. It is all up to you. But once again, who are you? Who is, let's say, Roxanne? Understanding a fourth density idea of herself known as Rakia. Hmm? A fractal of herself from the Pleiadian civilization, that of Akina. Hmm? Iona, Nimikoto, epic. Getting that connection from the Hathors, accepting that of Nakuru, and downloading that entire idea into this personality. Expanding this into all that is. So where are you? Wherever you choose. We want you to understand that the Oversoul is all of you. You have one soul, yet within that are billions of lives. You can say infinite because that is so, but for logic ideas, for a limit to proceed before you go on, billions is fine. And that idea you will choose an experience. You will as well birth new experiences of yourself, and this is one of them. You have birthed this personality complex from you, remembering you journeying home, only falling more in love with who you are. Definitions of levels were needed, for that's what works with the logical mind, 
for clarity in stages, stepping stones. You are your higher self. Does your higher self have a name? Yes, most certainly. The collective <clears throat> family of fire. <clears throat> the collective family of Ra, Abraham, Seth, mm, Kryon, mm, Ramta, mm, Adronis and that family, Bashar and that family. They're all one. But you are looking at the individual of you thinking that you are down here. You are way larger than that. Yet you realize who you are in all the nows. Remember, what you are feeling inside of you, remembering who you are by acting on your joy, loving yourself, and accepting the things that come to you that seemed out of bounds at one time, giving you the authority that you can claim I am in anything that comes into you, that's who you are. So the idea of an oversoul, stand by. The 144,000 oversouls. Hmm? So there's only 144,000 entities, because they're all one soul. Choosing Earth. Hmm? No infinite number. But they're all that one oversoul. Higher and higher. How about this? Who's the one oversoul for all 144,000? Hmm? Who is the one oversoul that is this entire universe? Who is the one? That's how interconnected you are. In this time, all you need to do is claim I am. Let it unfold. Let definitions of the past fall away. No longer needed to be known as anything in particular. My name is nobody. If that chooses to be your highest joy, so be it. Hmm? So the idea of fire is a very large perspective of all that is within that, contained in that, from that one personality birthing idea is this entire civilization. Co-creation with fire, in fire, as fire. Hmm? It's a deeper resonation just for you to ponder, just for you to allow. The idea of what it is in that, let's say, absolute idea, what an oversoul truly is, is, let's say, now just reaching into you. You are allowing that idea to become more of how grand you are. Find you, find your I am, find the meaning of Oversouls within all of you. Find the meaning behind the 144,000 Oversouls and the 50 plus thousand of each of those are their soulmates. Can you be every person in the room? Can you be every person of your family? You be your mom, your sister. You are that person. Hmm? Is that possible? Are you looking at yourself every day in the mirror? Hmm? Truly, your soul is that. When we say soulmate, that is you. But you're looking at this, I can't be that because that is them. It is the same. It is you. Oh, yes. Sticky. We feel it. Kind of, let's say, mushy to work around with. Working with wet clay too wet. Can't quite put it together. Allow this. This is for comprehension to tickle. This is for ideas to, let's say, allow, ponder, and expand. Just take this idea. <clears throat> Upon Earth, you are more connected at a closer range than what you think is the separation idea of the 144,000 Oversouls. Understand this, most certainly. Any questions on this, entities? <coughs> Pardon me. Um, could you talk some about um, interactions within the Oversoul of the consciousnesses that uh, express? 
through yes. that oversoul. Your quasi-template state, that of Daryl Inka Bashar, is spoken. When you go up into dream state, <clears throat> in co-creation, let's say most of your co-creation occurs within your soul only in that fashion, for some, but there are other souls, but not as many as you think, that are incarnating this entire Akashka universe. In that idea, your interactions are with yourself. Hmm? Giving yourself perspectives of yourself in counsel in the quasi-template plate idea. We call it a plate because it's served in that idea. Served for your choices of separation to look at. That idea. You are connecting with, let's say, we'll give you an easier example. So for clarity, let's say you and your soulmate that you have discovered, your twin flame, if you will, that you have just know it. You don't need to define it anymore as this to get to that. It's just is. You two are the exact same person up here, pushing this part down to experience of you fractaling, pushing this part down, you, fractaling, laying out as a high probability of connection and remembrance. You achieve that idea in limitation, but yet you achieve it. You cross paths, you connect. Those two are planning ideas up here, but they're both you in the mirror, even up here so, because there's two separate personalities, but it's still the same personality. So all of the oversoul, if it's within a probable, let's say, field of unexpected probabilities, to co-create, that's where you do your work in all the nows. Does this make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. So if I'm, let's say, hanging out with Roxanne, I most certainly am Roxanne. I am her personality, but very much up here. She's discovering herself by being herself and absorbing me. Although I don't disappear because I am this fractal of me. The higher idea of fire. But we yet we are the same. But you look for the separation in personality complexes. So if I become more of this, what happens to Osiphius? As Roxanne says. Or if I become more of this, what happens to Nukuru? Does she lose her personality if I am her personality and her personality changes? No. It is all the fractals being the same up here. That's what you're journeying back to. So your oversoul most certainly interacts with all of yourselves, your soul, your infinite one that you were created as in the now. The singularity from the power point of up here, the original birth, if you will, in time is most certainly all of them. But you're understanding through the connections how to realize how you could, can be, are all of your fractal selves at the same time. Never losing the identity of each of them, yet all identities are the same. So I'm planning out with Roxanne this idea in Quasi, give her her symbols, her dreams, her remembrances that are, let's say, validated in her physical probability of now, her being in the now, connecting to this symbol of a dream that remembers, bring up that portion of the dream, and then she relates and understands and connects and allows it to expand, and then she realizes more of herself, enlarging her container of what she considers the I am. So we're always doing that idea with each other in all facets, and whether we know it consciously, we all know the same thing in all the now. So all of us are experiencing every, let's say, every other entity, pardon me, that's wrong, let's say incorrect, every other personality within the entity most certainly know everything that's going on. Of course, you're not aware of it because you're limiting yourself to have that awareness, not your fault, that's ascension. That's what you're coming more and more into by tuning into the frequencies of different parts. Now, parts of yourself. <clears throat> now,
When you see and feel hmm, a thought that comes out of the blue, hmm, that uh, is spurred on by an emotional a trigger, and it takes you in a visional timeline, not necessarily of yourself, could be with yourself, could be anybody truly in, let's say, vision. Someone you've never known before, never met before, in a different country you've never visited. This is you. This is you experiencing that you over there that you're connecting to now because you're allowing the frequency to come in without any inhibitions about it. You're raising your frequencies. So as you raise your frequencies, you will get more and more feeling, insight, understanding, visions of occurrences happening around the earth and on different realms, different planes, things that can't make uh, heads or tails of. But that is you with all of you, the interconnection of you and your multi-personality dimensional facets of the diamond, however you want to say it, selves. But it's all you. In forgetfulness, it looks very large that how can you be all these personalities? Well, you are. But as you are allowing yourself to accept every single thought that comes in that this is me, whether you deserve it or not, trust it, get it. Don't let's say it's that big, large, challengeable. I don't understand. I might be multi-personality disorder. Forget it. Let everything accept, allow, 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 and see how much you truly are. We cannot give you the comprehensible equational words to tell you, show you, equate to you the visions and the words of what you truly are. Now we're expanding to that. There is no end to you, truly. But to see what you are in existence is, let's say, non-describable, undescribable at this time with your equations of yourself, ideas of your own, let's say, limitations. But now this awareness of it expands. So have fun with it. Understand that you are all of yourselves in many, 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 many interactions. Usually 100% of the interactions you have daily are your soulmates. Hmm? Not just the 144, you know, let's say one of the 144 is, let's say, this uh, fractal self being 50,000 from that one over soul. You are all of these over souls. There's more to the 144, and we'll get to that in time because that is a resonating number, a resounding number in Roxanne's life, and she's like, damn it, give me some answers. Give me something about this. It keeps popping up every day. 144, 144, 144. The angel number idea didn't resonate, of course. That was just to get her notice to it. Now it's expanding. It will expand for you as well. Know that every entity is you. And we're talking your soul. Hmm? Not that soul over there. Much to learn about this universe, truly. But just in this now... Be the awareness, don't search for it, don't logical it, don't negate it, allow it. For this only floods in the frequencies of expansion for you to choose. This is what you want. Things beyond your known. Just giving you hints at it will expand it in allowance of it because you are it. It cannot like go away. Trust this. Make sense? Yes. Okay. All right, time we got. 19 minutes. Easy, perfect. All right, we shall take a small break. This is Osipius. I bid you a good moment. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll take a break, guys. I love you.